hello guys uh welcome back to my channel maison african motives uh in this platform we shall be working on engineering science and three uh still working on forces so in this uh platform actually there's a question that i just want us to discuss on uh, uh especially on the presentation of forces there this is the major part that yeah uh, is very very uh, important in exam that you need to understand so i just want to use this question as a basic question uh, that actually most of us can actually understand what is happening in this case. All right. So from the question that we are given, we are given in Fig two below. Uh, fig two below shows a system of forces. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the force that will keep the three forces shown in equilibrium. Okay. So we need the magnitude, and we also need the direction that will keep the three forces shown in equilibrium which means we are talking about the resultant here okay and we've got nine marks for that all right so what is important about this type of equation here that i want you to see if you are to cross check i told you guys when you are working with forces make sure that the forces are taken from the point going out uh, outside of the diagram not inside like this point force which is pointing inside so on a condition like that, you just need to extend that force like this. Just extend your force. Do not worry about it like this. So if you extend this force, if you continue with this force, it's, it, it's, it's going to be like this. So that's a continuation that we have done. So it means this is now pointing outside. It's now from the point, pointing outside, which is your 80 kilonewton like this. And this is the angle that is the same as this because these are vertically opposite angles. So this will remain as 30 degrees. And take note, this line here is representing the horizontal line. As you can see, there's no force that is given all along this line. So this is actually representing a horizontal line. So that means this force of 80, which is on this side, is no longer part of the question we are not going to apply this one we are going to use this one as our as our force take note guys this is the one that we are going to use on this side not this one we are no longer going to take this part because we have indicated in another direction that is going to be easier now because we know in order for you to have the resultant definitely you need the horizontal components so you have got the horizontal component all right what are we going to have from the horizontal component which is hx so someone can use fx someone can use hx so so many ways so as for me i'm just going to use this as hx which is the horizontal component uh let's start with this one from this horizontal because eight is now on this side and in this horizontal it's in the positive this one Pause the horizontal because they said remember i said this is the point of the origin so going to the right is positive so it's going to be 80 cos anything that has to do with this part because you're going to form a triangle like this and this is in the adjacent so that is why we are using cos so it's um 18 all right and then uh, on this part we use the same 15 cos 30 because it's on the positive side again this is still in the positive side here so it's going to be plus 15 uh, cos 60 degrees this is 60 degrees take note guys all right but what about this one the horizontal because this is the horizontal here of this trend which is in the negative so it's going to be negative 20 so we've got negative 20 cos the angle between the force and the horizontal line which is 45 degrees so that is what you're going to have remember what i told you guys whenever <clears throat> you are working with these typical questions it's best that uh, you understand the way that you're going to use it so here you can find the value of each part so the first one is going to give us something like 69 comma 2 8 2 okay plus this one is going to give us 7 comma 5 minus this one is going to give us 14,142 if you round off properly to three uh, decimal places so you can uh, combine these add 
everything then subtract you'll be left with 62,641 so yeah something like that that's a zero six four zero this one so it's going to give us a zero if you subtribute two minus two that's a zero so which is just the same as sixty two comma six four all right all these forces if we are to cross check the other forces they were in what in kilonewtons so it's going to be kilonewton like this and the horizontal component is something like this that is where we are taking the horizontal so this is positive this is negative so it means if your horizontal is a positive it's on the east because we've got west and east so this is going to be east because it's a positive so our answer the direction is going to be the east okay let's quickly have our vertical component guys let's quickly have our vertical component um that's the vertical let me just write it here Uh, vertical components okay we shall have uh, v y this time all right so remember the vertical components still we are going to judge according to the diagram here so this one this is your vertical here which is actually a positive because it's above the line so it's a positive so it's 80 sign anything that is here to go with opposite it has to use sign so it's 80 sign 30 a design 30 degrees okay we move on to this one it's in the negative if you have to cross check this is a vertical in the negative so it's minus 15 sine 60 minus 15 sine 60 degrees all right then we move on to this one the vertical is above the horizontal which means it's a positive so it's 20 sine 45 which is a positive 20 sine 45 degrees all right so that is what you're going to to have in this case so let's just try and simplify just like the previous part of vertical component is going to be is 40 here minus 12,990 from your calculator if you round off it's going to be a zero there plus 14,142 all right so that's our vertical component is going to be if you combine everything here we are going to obtain 41,152 which is in kilo neutrons and the vertical component let us say we say this is vertical this is positive this is negative so it means positive is not negative is south in the vertical so this one being positive it means it's going to the to the north that will be the direction there all right so the question is for us to find the resultant there guys and we need the direction also remember the question guys we need to calculate the magnitude and direction so what is going to be the magnitude now okay we in order for you to have the direction definitely have to at least understand how the diagram is going to be if you are to cross check here our positive our horizontal is positive our horizontal here it's a positive our um, vertical is also a positive so which means for both to be positive which means they lie in the first quadrant that is where horizontal and vertical is positive like this this is your horizontal vertical they are both positive only in the first quadrant so this is where you are going to have your theta and the resultant are here so that is what your diagram is going to be so if the horizontal this is horizontal hx 62 comma we just substitute here 62 comma 64 all right then um the other one in the vertical which is 41 comma this one so it's 41 comma 152 all right that is what we had guys so you can calculate the resultant in this case so where are we going to have our resultant from that is the case so using our pythagoras theorem the resultant is going to be the square root of hx squared plus vy squared okay so you're just going to substitute here which is your hx here and this is your vy so it's 62 comma 64 squared plus uh 41 comma 152 squared something like that all right so you can just use your calculator guys at once you obtain something like 74 comma 
948 yeah something like that 948 this is 948 yeah this is what i obtained in kilonewtons because everything was in kilonewtons there so this is the resulting but we need also to know the direction so as you can see this was in the east and in the north so the direction is east going to the north but which angle now so theta is equivalent to actan remember is uh, the vertical component over the horizontal component which is equivalent to actan the vertical component which is 41,152 over 62,64 like this okay so you're going to obtain something like 33,30 degrees something like that if you hold off to two decimal places that is what you if you want so the idea of having the diagram like this is so that we can know the direction this is from the east going to the to the north so that is our therefore our resultant this one is going to be 74,948 kilonewton uh, then this angle we said east going to the north so it's east 33 comma three is zero degrees to the north so that is going to be the resultant and the direction of the result and um, the equivalent that is going to keep these forces in equilibrium so you're simply uh determining like this so you see how they ask a certain question the same question they can ask this question in stages they can ask you to calculate horizontal component vertical component and direction then they will ask you to calculate the resultant still it's one and the same thing they can ask this question at once or they can ask it in stages so we just need to revise as much question papers guys so that we can understand how they ask this question so that's it guys from Mesoamerican african motives till we meet again